King Charles and Queen Camilla were forced to cancel a public event earlier this week after police saw a man on a nearby rooftop and thought it was a repeat of the Trump assassination attempt. Welcome viewers to my channel, please subscribe, like my video and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next update. On Monday, worried staff members rushed the royals out of a public walkabout and into a nearby hotel while they were in St. Helier, the capital of Jersey, a wealthy island that is part of the British territory. However, the sun has now revealed that security personnel were left with shredded nerves after spotting someone on a roof overlooking the royals, similar to Thomas Matthew Crooks, Trump's potential assassin, who had shot at the 45th president two days earlier. The man was seen on a rooftop overlooking Liberation Square, where the king and queen were greeting visitors, according to sources who spoke with the sun. The sun contacted Buckingham Palace for more information, but the palace typically declines to comment on security matters. During a rally in Pennsylvania on Saturday, Crooks, 20, fired at former President Trump. While Cory Comperator, the former chief of the fire department, was killed by a stray bullet, Trump sustained a bloody ear injury. Despite witnesses spotting Crooks minutes earlier, the fact that he was killed by Secret Service snipers seconds later raises the question of why he wasn't stopped sooner. Although he had previously conducted online searches for members of the British royal family, including Kate, Princess of Wales, prior to the incident, the thief's motive is still unknown. A security concern forced King Charles and Queen Camilla to abandon a royal engagement on Monday. During their two-day tour of the Channel Islands, the monarch and his wife were visiting Jersey when their trip was abruptly cut short due to safety concerns. When their security team suddenly forced the pair into the nearby Palm Door Hotel, they were in the middle of a conversation with a local business owner. It is common knowledge that the general public was unaware of any drama. It is known that the couple's security team discovered a small issue of concern and took every precaution. The false alarm was issued just a few days after a potential assassin shot at former President Donald Trump at a campaign rally in Pennsylvania over the weekend. 130 yards from where Trump was speaking, a sniper had climbed onto the roof of a manufacturing plant and opened fire on the Republican nominee. The aspiring assassin struck Trump in the ear, inflicted serious injuries on two attendees, and ultimately killed one. The gunman was killed by Secret Service agents. Following Trump's harrowing experience, former BBC royal correspondent Michael Cole told GB News that there was a heightened sense of security concern for the king and queen. According to him, I'm sure there's a kind of heightened sense of security concern due to the events in America, which we know about from Saturday night.